Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my first time filming my new car and it feels pretty fancy. But this is also my first time filming now, like that I'm living in LA. If you missed my last video, it was a life update. I talked about a lot. So if you missed that, if you want to know what's going on or want to know what happened within the past year, just like so much, go watch that video. But yeah, I'm living in LA now. And so because of that, obviously I need to go grocery shopping. I brought food from home with me that I had, which was not a lot. I just had like miscellaneous stuff to bring. I had brought like one single avocado, some like frozen veggie burgers, a few frozen pizzas, some pickles, a couple cans of beans, some pasta, I don't know. I brought a bunch of random stuff, but none of it really goes together. So I'm heading to Trader Joe's right now to do a grocery haul. So I'm gonna take you guys grocery shopping with me and then to give you guys a haul when we get back. So yeah, I have kind of a list it's not very long. I know of a few things that I need to get, but I don't want to get too much produce, like produce that will expire quick because today's Friday and I won't be at the apartment on Saturday or like most of Sunday. So I can't get too much produce. It's going to go bad, but I still need to get, I need to get some food. So that's what we're going to do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on my list. So let's head to Trader, head to Trader Joe's. My first time like grocery shopping where I'm not parked at a parking lot right in front of the store Meaning I had to walk down a block or two. I Can only buy what I can carry That's weird, which honestly 99% of the time I don't ever need a car. I'm never doing like super big grocery hauls I like to go Just like more frequently and get less stuff than doing big hauls But since I don't have a ton of food at the apartment, I mean today was bigger um, but I mean I still got a good amount. I don't know. We'll see. I, I had to stop shopping halfway through because I was like Like I won't be able to carry anymore if I get anything else. So But let's head back and Do grocery haul and then I can make lunch because I am so hungry Okay, so we made it back and I'll show you what the type of food I brought that I was talking about like I have um a can of soup a couple cans of beans a jar full of macaroni just like random stuff and then the freezer is pretty much just frozen pizza veggie burgers and beyond meat crumbles so not enough to make full meals i kind of had a list but kind of just grabbed whatever sounded good so i don't even really i don't even know everything i got but let's see first i got a salad mix very basic nothing exciting about that Ooh, actually these are exciting though plantain croutons i kind of want to no I won't try these now, but I will try them in my next video. Garlic, sea salt, plantain croutons. That sounds really good, so I'm definitely going to put that in that salad. I then got tomato basil marinara for the macaroni, and then some of the frozen pizza that I had um, doesn't have anything on it. Like, it's just the crust, so I can use that for both. Garlic salt, which I didn't even, I didn't really read it. It also has onion and parsley in it, which I don't mind, but garlic salt goes on everything I make. Then... This is something else I'm super, super excited about that I also will be trying in my next video, so you're going to have to watch that if you want to see my taste test. But this is a new item, vegan creamy dill dressing. It's made of cauliflower, canola oil, almond butter, distilled vinegar, and like spices, so I'm very excited. I then got two avocados and one red onion. It's a bag of garlic because I put it in the freezer and then I have garlic at all times and it's amazing because I use way too much of it. I then got a delicata squash because these are one of my, I think my favorite like fall, like I like it better than pumpkin, butternut squash, acorn squash. This is my favorite. Celery and mustard to make a chickpea tuna salad that I'm going to make also in my next video. <laughs> this whole video is going to be plugging my next video. I'm sorry, but but a lot of the stuff I'm going to be using in that video. Of course, I got a bag of potatoes because I always want potatoes. Other avocado and a tomato. And then I've actually never tried this before. I got their peanut butter with ground flax and chia seeds. 
the only ingredients are peanuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, and sea salt. So, I mean, I feel like it'll taste just like their normal peanut butter, but it has flax seeds in it and chia seeds. And then, these are the last two things I got. I don't really have a plan for either of them. I just bought them and I'll use them somehow, but I got all the top and on. I was recently watching the nosedive episode of Black Mirror and she made olive tapenade and it made me want to try it. I don't think I've ever had it, but I love olives and there would be no reason why I wouldn't like it. And then I got this eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. I also don't know what you use this on. Use the spread on sandwiches, toast, or crackers. Stir into soups and stews for flavor. I'll probably use this like on toast on a sandwich or something like that. That sounds good to me. Yeah, that was my Trader Joe's grocery haul. It wasn't super big because I couldn't carry everything, which I'm realizing. So I'm gonna go back later this week and probably get a few more things, but also this is now like a good amount to make some meals, plus everything that I have. Cause I also have like oats, rice, like lentils, pasta. So I have all my staples already, like pantry staples. I just needed to get some more stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.